God. This is time. I now have the camera on. <laughs> Ron Foth here with iRocks America Online Rock Magazine. And today we're here with Holy Smokes lead guitarist Todd Thompson. How you doing, Todd? Good. How you doing? Ah, uh, doing you. good, man. Thank you for having us down. Anytime. Good to see you. Bro. Oh, yeah. Good to see you too, man. Hey, Todd. Last time I saw you was out at the uh, Las Vegas Homeless Veterans Benefit Concert in Las Vegas 2014 on Memorial Day and uh, for U.S. Vets and uh, uh, I, I know that I understand uh, everybody that was involved in that is either uh, veterans or uh, I understand you were a brat in, in a, a, veter a family, you know, a family of veterans and um, anyways uh, you came out which was great holy smoke and everything what did you get out of that that day? Um, I got a ton out of that. It was great. It was uh, great hanging out with the bands. Um, even the bands were donating money. Um, it's just a lot of love going around. People being real unselfish with their time compared to most people out, you know, just doing their own thing. So um, it was a great cause and it was a great time. And uh, just the whole day was really cool. It was really cool. Well, Todd, uh, the, the story with you is that you came in right at a time of Holy Smokes history yeah. where. They just got over of leading, uh, losing their lead guitarist, uh, Ta Tommy Genova, and um, some pretty big f shoes to fill. And uh, and may I ask, uh, may I add to that, um, your his style of uh, guitar playing quite different from your style of guitar playing, which I really admire. I've really, you're the type of guitarist I, not that I take away from Tommy, but um, I really uh, admire your type of guitar playing um how, how was that for you coming into holy smoke like that as a guitarist um how, how did you feel about that um well a lot of respect to tommy i didn't i didn't know him i seen him in videos and just heard from the guys you know and he was great and he sang too i don't sing so um you know i met bill at school actually um just ran into him there and it was just an informal jam and it turned into what we are now you know and um, um, you know, other than that, I'm just uh, I just respect respect the you know Tommy, like I said, and uh, I just like to play. So I'm just you know I just like to jam and play, and it's pretty much simple. Uh, the interval of the six is one of the most beautiful intervals to the human ear. It's like from like say for a C major to an E minor, and it's in Year of the Cat. Six, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Or two pages that he goes. So tell me, Todd, what has your, been your personal uh, musical education journey uh, when you were young? Can you tell uh, the fans out there, um, what, what has been your musical path? Well, my mom, had, she got me an acoustic guitar when I was about 13, and um, you know, I learned chords and stuff. I think I really got into it um, watching the Midnight movies with the uh, song remains the same, Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page. Was, oh yeah, yes. Yeah, we all know that. Jimmy Page, uh, I just loved him. He thought he was the coolest. And um, I like the guy in Rush, Alex Lyson, a lot. I think he's underrated. Absolutely, um, he is. he's underrated for sure. Yeah, and I like the whole power tri trio concept, which Zeppelin was really, you know, they were, plus a singer, so. Absolutely, you know, that's, yeah. that's, that's interesting you say the power trios, like, uh, some of the best bands, if you think about it, uh, uh, were the three like Rush and ZZ Top's another good one that comes to mind, and uh, Triumph. Triumph, I, I do believe they were they were three as well in their heyday. Uh, sometimes people forget about Triumph. One of some one of my favorite bands. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. yeah oh hell yeah, they're great. Uh, it's kind of funny they come out of Canada too, you know, with yeah, Rush yeah. and Triumph. It's kind of 
crazy. And Bachman Turner Overdrive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's another uh, one, you know. The, uh, the cream. Uh, cream, okay, yeah. We just uh, had uh, Bill Todd in the background say cream. Uh, you know, um, the thing is, is that um, who, on that same note, who are some guitarists that you would say were influential to you that you admire, either bands or guitarists that have uh, influenced your own style of music and playing? Well, I'd have to say it again, uh, Jimmy Page. Okay. Um, and uh, I love Hendrix, of course. Okay. I loved what he was doing with the band of Gypsies, I got a little funkier. Um, that's why I like playing with Willie, the bass player in here. He's got a rhythm and blues background, and I like some of the funk that he he's got to offer and uh, um, it's just fun so I'd probably just say them and um, the guys I mentioned you know just Alex Lyson and there's a lot of guitarists out there too even Joe Pass in uh, jazz a lot of jazz guitarists and stuff uh, too many to name uh, there's tons of great guitarists out there so I hear a great song and I'll try to learn it you know so which inspires you obviously yeah so that that's yeah. that's a trait of a great musician uh, I would say and I, I, I agree with you. Uh, I, I would be sitting there to say today is sometimes I think that, um, you know, you got guys out there like Steve I, uh, uh, Joe Satriani, uh, you know, those kind of guys. And uh, I, I would hate this. Uh, with all the guitarists that come out of Music Institute, out of Hollywood, and places like that, you would sit there and say, I think that um, guitarists, I, I'd hate to say, are a dime a dozen, I, I think, maybe anymore. Yeah, there's if, tons. Of, there's, uh, it's the most popular instrument in the world. Everybody wants to play guitar. You see one, you can't walk down the street without seeing someone playing a guitar on the corner or whatever. So. Well, I yeah. I agree with you. I think if I was uh, I was a musician starting out today, uh, I would have my choice would have been electric harmonica, and the reason why I say and because uh, Jay Giles, uh, uh, you know the Magic Dick, who plays. Uh, <laughs> Of course, that's his name, uh, you know, the old Magic Dick. Uh, you know, he uh, definitely, one wild, uh, you know, uh, guy who plays electric harmonica or even electric violin or something. Yeah. I mean, something that stands out, you yeah. know. But um, not, not to take away from, uh, you know, playing guitar, Lord knows that uh, I've had my attempts with my, um, my Gibson Starburst, and I'm, I'm a keyboard man, quite frankly. Uh, I, I like the Roland synth guitar. And uh, that's that's some trippy stuff, but I don't know. Some some of my comrades have said, "Well, Ron, that's cheating," you know, with uh, some of the technical stuff. But I think you can be just as creative, uh, you know. Uh, what, yeah, what music's music, so what, 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 you know, it's what I'm hearing from me. So you know? exactly, exactly. Yeah. some songs that are not the, the predictable ones uh, you 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 seem to tend to play some uh, things I believe on guitar that are really interesting they have a lot of soul I, I think uh, a lot of character I think of Jimmy Page uh, um, and, I mean what do you you, do you kind of understand what I'm saying I mean what do you think yeah kind of I, lo I love emotion in music and that's that's my you know so that's what it's all about to me, you know, anybody can play the same notes, but it's what you bring as far as emotion and what you're feeling from what you're hearing. 
So I love the emotional, you know, slow, slow blues. It gets real slow and melodic, and then just rips away and shreds for a while. And um, that's that's what I like, you know. The music's all about emotion to me. So. I am an advocate for original music. Every band that I'm out there with, I try to urge them to always uh, write a song, try to write new material. I Willie Ponder back a couple years ago during the 9-11 incident, I, I went and I said to him, hey, can you guys put together something for the 9-11 10-year remembrance? And he wrote the 9-11 song and uh, overnight, and which was pretty phenomenal. And, and it really sounds good, and, and we'll be reviving that song, by the way. But, um, you know, my question is, uh, what, what's your feelings about the bands that, I, I don't know, I, I have a certain, a certain feeling myself about when a band tries to go and use their musical talents to write music that's original versus playing someone else's music by sheet music, by chords, whatever, what, what's your feeling as far as original music goes? Um, well, I think you should always play original music. Um, you know, cover bands are, it's fun to play other stuff and, and it's fun to, I like when you play originals and maybe mix in some covers because people recognize it and it get, gets people going and throw some ACDC in and everybody, you know, recognizes, gets a crowd going and then throw in some originals too. Um, you know, it's fun playing the famous classics, you know. And, Absolutely. You know, but, uh, as far as tribute bands, I mean, they're fun to be in and stuff, but if you really think about it, if you're the band, you know, I mean, you know, I'd, I'd, really, I'd rather have someone come up with their own stuff than just spend their whole life playing my music, you know? Absolutely. That's a great way to say it. I haven't heard an artist say it that way. But I'd like to, when I'm playing, you know, throw in some other stuff, you know, like Zeppelin that people like, you know, and entertain them because they, you know. Well, that very true. Um, and don't get me wrong, I think uh, uh, in a lot of jovial situations, you're in a bar, and, and maybe you'll agree with me, there are certain times that you want to play some bar music. Yeah. Some stuff's going to, an ACDC so tune. People yeah, people are going to get up, they're going to get off their ass, and they're going to have a good time. And I think that's what it's about as well, enjoying the music. Yeah, sometimes originals, you have to, you know, listen to it a few times to get, you know, even with any new music from your band that comes out, you got to listen to it for a little bit, you know? Absolutely. You seem you seem to be a great addition uh, to to the uh, band itself, and and I've I've really appreciated and, and enjoyed watching you play. Um, I, I was going to say that how, how how do you feel? I mean, here you are. You come in after the passing of Tommy, and you come in and uh, you feel his shoes and everything, and then and then you show in moving forward with Holy Smoke. I, I believe that th this is actually moving forward, and uh, um, you, you've seemed to do that very well, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I, how do you, how do you feel about that? How do you feel like uh, you, you come in? You, it's not a matter that you had to prove yourself or anything, but you just seem to be a, a right element. I mean, uh, what what do you think? Um. I'm not trying to fill anyone's sh shoes or anything. I, I just, you know, I, I just like to play. I just keep it simple. You know, I respect everything that, you know, from the past. And uh, I just like to jam, you know, whether it's by myself in my room, I have a great time, or whether it's with Willie or, or Bill. And um, so I'm just someone that likes to play guitar. That's as simple as I can say. That is really cool. You, you like your craft. You love guitar. And, and, and on that note, by the way, are there any specific uh, guitars that you like to play, such as a Fender Strat or an Ibanez or well, Flying a, V, you know? I'm, I've had a, my own Fender Strat for about 20, 30 years, so I'm kind of used to it. I've played it so much, I've kind of carved boat out the wood from playing so much. Um, this guitar is actually Bill's, it's a Kramer neck, no, it's a Kramer body with Ibanez neck, and I've got to, I've got to like it pretty good, so. Um, I like Les Pauls too. I haven't played them that much, but uh, I guess I'm most familiar with the Strat, mostly. So very nice, very nice. Just because I've had it so much, you know, played it so much. So, um, but you know, any guitar is fine as long as you just get used to it. You know? There you go. There you go. So Todd, in, in uh, describing what Holy Smoke plays, uh, you know, currently and where the band is going. Um, can you describe the type of genre and, and styles that 
you're encounter encountering now? Um, well, I've always liked the big, heavy power sound, melodic. Um, so I bring that to the table, and then uh, with playing with with Willie, he's great. He's got an R and B background, and he he's a uh, he, he holds his own on bass. He's probably the best bass player I've ever played with. Oh, I I love Willie Ponder. I. Yeah. I know he has a lot of gospel influence, and I, I appreciate his style. Yeah, he's got, There's a, no he's got a lot of R&B, and so we, we like to funk it up, and so I kind of see us doing some rock funk kind of stuff. Kinda nice. Like, kind of like Hendrix was doing, you know, nice. the big sound. And yes. I, I kind of see that um, going on. That is really cool. That's cool. Um, now, on, on a heavier note, do you guys uh, ever go, I know you do, I know you've, I've seen you do some Zeppelin. I. I think it, I, I maybe some uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan. I'm not. I'm not sure. Yeah, I know. Okay, some of that. Uh, do you guys get in? Get heavy at all? Do you get? Do you get into the heavy world of? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> well, we get into heavy stuff on guitar. We don't have the. We don't have the, the shredder singer right now. Oh, okay, okay, right, right. Okay, so. Oh well, geez, I I think I should just step into that. Put a wig on yeah, and be done I mean, with it. Yeah, I think I should. You sang with us in the car the other day, so I was wondering. <laughs> well, actually, I, I did. Good. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I think I took the and microphone. You took the mic, yeah. Yeah, on stage, and I was doing some crazy stuff. But so uh, we had been rehearsing because I was thinking you were going to come in. So. Well, there you go. Well, so you know, I, I know, I know, we got some studio time that that we will be doing, and just for the heck of it, we. We can kick around some ideas, so yeah. So that's that's a bottle of Jack Daniels. That's that's a a of Jack Daniels. <laughs> God, I think that everybody will probably need a bottle of Jack Daniels after I'm done singing. <laughs> so, uh, God help everybody. So, okay, well, good point there, my friend. Here with Irox America interviewing the lead guitarist uh, Todd Thompson of uh, Holy Smoke, and here in San Diego, California, and. Thank you for having us, Tom. Oh, anytime, man. It's good to see you, man. Hey, good to see you too, dude. And we'll 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 be seeing you on the road. No doubt. Thanks, you man. <laughs>